Hi everyone! Uh, here we are at Kathy Labrati's Antique Dolls and we are currently in the doll room as we call it. Uh, one of our main um, spaces for photographing and uh, arranging the dolls that we offer for sale. And today I am going to tell you about a really special automaton uh, that we've recently gotten in and is now available for sale. So if you'll come over with me to the lighted area, I will talk about her. She's this exceptional and quite beautiful example um, by the Leopold Lambert and Bourgeois firm. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of this piece that makes it so special. So Leopold Lambert um, began making automata very early because he worked for Vichy. Many of you perhaps know the Vichy firm. Um, but there came a time when Lambert no longer wished to work for Vichy, and this was in the early 1880s. So he started working on his own dolls and his own play things, these beautiful automata. And this is a really, really wonderful example of the pieces that he was working on. In 1888, uh, Leopold Lambert was given a gold medal at the exposition in Barcelona for his outstanding work. In 1889, we note that uh, his advertising specifies that the company name changed to Lambert Bourgeois, the key then having the LB, here I'll just turn it so you can see that nicely, the LB initials are honored here. This is perhaps reflective of the fact that he married um, Eugenie Maria Bourgeois, and she began making all of the costumes for his fabulous automata, which really allowed them to stand out. And I think it's wonderful that he joined their names uh, so that that would actually be the title of the company rather than just his name. So this is an outstanding top tier example of the pieces that they were making um, right around that 1890 to into the 1890s, like probably from the first three years of the 1890s was when this beautiful automaton was produced. This is one of the rarest ones that we've ever had. It features a beautiful portrait jumeau head. Now, what uh, Lambert and Bourgeois would do is they would purchase pre-existing heads wholesale from companies that were making them. And we are quite certain that this is actually, I would say probably a second series uh, portrait jumeau head. Often you find these heads on fashion dolls. Um, so it's a nice small scale, but here seen as a child. The beautiful original costume that she's wearing has shredded, as you can see. The majority of these costumes on wonderful automata like this have shredded, unfortunately. It's just sort of something that happens with age. However, a very fastidious and loving previous owner did add a little bit of lace that is appropriate to the period to make sure that it looks all uniform and in good condition. Um, and she really is a cabinet-ready treasure. Um, I love that she also has this little polichinelle, which was probably uh, costumed by Eugenie as well, and it just looks so put together and so wonderful. She has a beautiful hat. She has the original wig that matches the eyebrows. Everything about this particular automaton really indicates that she is top tier. So if you'll stay tuned and watch the next video, you can see all of the movements that she does. There are four in total. So click through the, to the next one and see her go.